in a land of ancient battles. A giant defies an entire army, but one young shepherd dares to stand tall. Armed with only faith and a sling, he faces the impossible. David and Goliath, the victory of faith, starting now. A animation videos like this can be captivating while conveying information to your audience as well as helping you make money along the way. Check this out. This particular YouTube channel called Judas Sketch Animation has over 125,000 subscribers and their oldest video is about 4 months and according to Social Blade, they make between $286 to $4,600 per month as at the time of recording and this is not the only channel that um, has similar results this channel as well called bible in a nutshell so in today's video i'll be showing you how to create this type of animations with the help of ai and also to take note these animation steps can also be applied to other types of faceless youtube channels as well the first step in this process is for us to write our script and we'll be focusing specifically on the bible story niche which is what those channels we are all about and we'll be using chat gpt4 or you could choose to use any other chat gpt model that you have access to something i need to mention that is very important at this point is we need to get a viral script from any of those channels as a template which we'll be using to create our own story from scratch i've asked chat gpt to create a story of david and Goliath using that script from the other channel as a template we don't want the same thing we just want it to use the writing style the structure and the tone and you hit enter and ChatGPT will go ahead to create the story in the same um, likeness and once that story is created the next prompt is we'll be asking ChatGPT to break the story into different character lines as you can see ChatGPT has got a hair here to break it into narrator goliath david david's brother i will explain why we need this broken down like this because we're using it in the next couple of steps and once this is broken down the next thing we'll be asking ChatGPT to do would be to create for each scene within the story to break it down into the number of images that an illustrator can create and then ChatGPT has gone ahead to give us for each given section of the story different images with their details. The last thing that we'll be asking ChatGPT to do would be for the specific characters within this story. For here, which is the three major characters, which is David, Goliath, and David's brother, I've asked ChatGPT to create detailed description of these characters and we'll be using this as a starting point for our image creation that's gone ahead to create the detailed description for david goliath and david's brothers once you're done creating your script and breaking it down like i had mentioned the next step is for us to start generating the images and we'll start by generating the character images first for the image generation you could use any generation tool out there like big journey learner the ai but for specifically for this tutorial we'll be using dal e i've gone ahead to ask chat gpt to create a character called david and it has to be a young shepherd with a coily hair giving it all the descriptions the essence of creating the characters first is once you get the character you're looking for we could go ahead to use the jet id of this character to make references throughout the images we are generating because we want some form of consistency if we don't like this you can also click on the reroll button until you get the character you are looking for after multiple iterations and testing i was able to generate this image which is the main image I'll be using as a reference to creating every other image for this story. And as you can see, I like how the image looks generally, and it looks similar to the ones on the channels I had showed earlier. Once you have your image ready, ask ChatGPT to give you the gen ID of this specific image and it's going to provide you with a gen id so what's a gen id the gen id is what would help you to use this image as a reference to create consistency throughout the stories you are trying to tell or throughout the images you are trying to create i went ahead to create 
all other images based off of this technique. So let me just quickly show you some of it. This is uh, David showing the full body of David. You can see that the character remains consistent. Then I went ahead based off of our story to create a scene, create David with Shepherd. You can see he still maintained the same aesthetics. And I went ahead to create Goliath and differences and so on and so forth, as you can see throughout here. Once you have your image done, the next thing would be to download each of these images. Click on the arrow here and it downloads the image to your computer. Once it does that, the next thing you need to do before you start using this image for the next step is to upscale the images. I prefer to use this specific website called bigjpeg.com go ahead and select a specific file from the file you have click on open i normally use artwork then you choose how many times do you need it upscaled i normally use 2x so it's not so much and choose highest and click ok it will start upscaling and once it's done you download it to your computer and do the same thing for all the images now that we have our script ready we have our images we also have our upscaled images ready the next thing would be to generate our voiceovers we'll be using 11 labs i love to use 11 labs because of the richness of the voices and how realistic the voices are but the voiceover this time around we'll be doing the voiceover in batches according to character lines we have we did the story let me remind you if you remember when we broke this down into a narrator goliath and the different characters this is how we created the voiceover because we want the story to have dynamic voices changing depending on the scene that we are in come back to 11 labs for us to establish that you need to choose up to four voices to represent different characters do that go to your voice library and listen to all the voices and choose the one that suits each character for me i've chosen a couple of voices here that have assigned their names that i'll be using for each part of the narration go back to speech so i'll be showing you one for example and we'll start with the narrator i'll just copy the first line of the narrator and then i'll paste it here then i'll go ahead to choose the voice i have assigned for the narrator which is this and then go ahead to click on generate speech once this is done this to your computer and save it and you go ahead to do this for the next line if the next line is for david you could come in here and the david voice and use that i've gone ahead to generate all the voiceovers we need for the next step now that we have our script ready we have our voiceover ready we have our images ready the next step would be to animate those images i'll be showing you two tools i'll be using to animate the image the first tool would be immensity ai this tool used to be called layer picks before and they have rebranded i'll put the links to all these tools i'm using in the description box this is the first tool we'll be using and the second tool we'll be using would be leonardo.ai and i'll explain why for the first one immensity ai once you click in you would have enough credit here to be able to generate your animations you click on upload and then we're going to choose a particular image to animate i'm going to choose this click on open it's going to upload that image and immediately it will give it different dimensions and depth once this process is over as you can see immediately it has given it a perspective swing you could choose to use any other type of animation style here depending on what you are trying to achieve this is a zoom zoom center once you have that style chosen the next thing is just to click on export and you would go ahead to choose how many seconds do you want the repetition to happen hit next and then any particular option you prefer you could use this and then go ahead to export and it will export to your computer that's the first animation that i did for some of the images the next one would be to use leonardo dot ai and this particular animation tool they have is specifically for if i want my characters to blink or make some certain movements once you come into leonardo ai you could start with 
for Leonardo for free as well. You could come to motion. And on this dialog box, it's going to ask you to select your image. Go ahead and select a specific image. So this is the image I have and say confirm. And then it will ask you what is the strength. Take it down a little bit to like three. And then hit generate. It's going to take some of your credit to generate the image. While we wait for this to complete, the next thing we'll be doing is for some specific scenes, we want our characters to be talking and have a lip sync. The animation is done. As you could see, how it gives it a bit of perspective and the character is blinking. That's why I like to combine the Immacity AI as well as Leonardo AI, depending on what you want the scene to be doing. And once you have this done, you go ahead to click on the download button to download it as an MP4 to your computer and save the last option that i'll be showing you would be if we want some parts of our character to speak we need to lip sync it i'll be using did one of my favorite tools as well coming into did we just click on create a video and once you click on create a video you could upload the image of the character that you want to lip sync so here i want to lip sync the image of our narrator and then obviously remember we have already created the different voiceovers for the different characters you come in here and say script go to audio upload then upload the file i'll just say made narrator and say then go ahead and title the video and hit on generate once that video is generated then you download it to your let me show you how the video looks like time ago in the land of israel there was a young boy named David. He was the youngest of eight brothers. As you can see, this lip synced really well and it looks really interesting. Then you could go ahead and download this to your computer. Once we have all of our assets ready, the next thing we need to do is to find music and sound effects to go with the video we are about to create there are multiple places you could find music and sound effects you could use epidemic sound this is what i use specifically i also use at least as well to find all my sounds but these are paid tools if you're starting as a beginner and you don't have money to pay for these tools you could also use pixabay once you come to pixabay.com come in here you would see music and sound effects and from here you'll be able to get free royalty music and sound effect you could use in your video that youtube is not going to flag once we have all our assets ready the next thing is to edit our video and to do that we'll be using CapCut. i've gone ahead to import all the voiceovers import all the animated videos that i want to use as well as music and sound effects that i'll be using to create this video the first thing is to start from the beginning of the story and for me we'll be using the narrator that we lip synced as you can see here as the narrator is telling the stories we'll be inserting the pictures in between what you need to do is play through the story anywhere the narrator mentions a particular scene that you want to showcase then you go ahead and drag that clip for example here he's talking about david and you can see here the david scene is going to show up what you also need to note is as you can see here the background of the david image is shorter use the arrows at the edge to expand it to make sure it sits properly i'll just go ahead and put in the images in the appropriate sections and i'll be right back i've gone ahead to put the different images in the right place depending on what the narrator is saying here i've put the david's brother the image of david tended the sheep and here we'll talk about where um the israelites were fighting with the philistines and the giant called goliath here as well, I animated Goliath talking, as you could see, it's moving its mouth. I'm only just showing you the first 35 seconds of the entire video. This process is still the same throughout the entire process. What else I've gone ahead to do is to place the sound effects for different scenes. The sound effect I placed here is a sound effect of people 
fighting in a battlefield and this is the sound of Goliath making some noise you will see all of that once the video is ready and then I've got to put some music that is going to flow with this but we are not done the next thing we need to do is to go ahead to put in some transitions you could see here there are some transitions here to smoothly move it from one scene to the another to add transitions you go to transitions at the very top and it's going to load a couple of transitions here you choose the ones that you find necessary or is going to tell your story better and you drag and drop them in between clips and this is what i've done here and here as well the next thing would be for us to go ahead to add our caption to do that you just click on text it's going to load this part of the editing tool you just go to auto captions and here choose your language click on generate it's going to go ahead to generate the caption for the entire story this is the final video a long long time ago in the land of israel there was a young boy named david he was the youngest of eight brothers, and while his brothers were soldiers, David tended to his father's sheep in the fields. The Israelites, David's people, were at war with a mighty group called the Philistines. One Philistine giant, Goliath, was especially fearsome. He stood over nine feet tall and wore heavy armor. Every day, Goliath challenged the Israelites. Send me a man to fight. If he wins, we will be your slaves. But if I win, you will be our slaves. This looks really good. And this is the same process you use if you want to create 10 minutes video or even longer videos. Because if you want to post this on YouTube and you want mid-roll ads, you need this um, story videos to be more than 8 minutes. And your video is ready to be posted on YouTube. Creating an animation video like this for your faceless YouTube channel can be very rewarding, but there are other critical steps you need to cover, like opening your YouTube channel and optimizing it correctly that I didn't cover in this video. To help you do that, you can check out the free course I have on how to start a faceless YouTube channel. And also, if you want to create any other type of animation, you could check out the video at the bottom right corner on your screen as well. If you have enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial, kindly hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, stay glued to the channel for more interesting content coming your way.